Remember when Extreme Rules was actually somewhat extreme? Remember when Extreme Rules actually was a decent pay-per-view and not relegated to the trash that it is now? Remember when Extreme Rules was actually just called Extreme Rules and not the horror show at Extreme Rules? Yeah, I remember. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So, I checked out the horror show at Extreme Rules last night. Um, eh, didn't, there was questionable stuff. I think the best match for me was the, uh, the, uh, tables match. I enjoyed that match for the most part. Um, Everything else I really didn't too much care for. The Sasha Banks versus Asuka match. I didn't like the ending on that. That decision was uh, it just it doesn't make sense. Like I, I get it. You're trying to, you know, maybe promote something for Monday Night Raw. Did Asuka win uh did did Asuka actually lose the championship? Is bait is uh Sasha now the champ? Like it's it's I just don't care, man. This the booking decisions just doesn't make sense. The only reason why I'm even making this review because I want to talk to you guys about the eye for eye match. I'm gonna be honest with you. I really wouldn't look wasn't looking forward to this pay per view. The only match I somewhat cared for it was two of them. This match, the eye for eye match, and the Bray Wyatt versus uh, Braun Strowman match, which. Let me get into that real quick. Um, the cinematic presentation of it was dope, but I think it is they're going to the well too many times when it comes to putting on these cinematic matches. If you're gonna do that, it should still somewhat be a match of some sort, or it should be some type of physical altercation. It wasn't really much, it was they were more so telling the story. And it's just one of those things where it, it kind of got a little cringy for me. And it was a waste of time because we all know it looks like they're booking The Fiend versus uh, Braun Strowman. And it's like, okay. You know what I'm saying? This match was just to show off our our budget. That That's all I really saw from this match. So I didn't really too much care for it. But um, this eye for eye match. I really was intrigued in the sense of not looking forward to the match like I'm hyped, but more so like, yo, this is it, this is a thing. For example, we've had the Buried Alive matches. We've had the Buried Alive and Cement matches. We've had casket matches. We have those hokey wrestling matches. Um, we've had the Inferno matches. Cool. What else? But an eye for an eye match, bro. Like, I get the story. Rey Mysterio got attacked by Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins did a pretty gruesome thing. Like, smashing his face and his eye into the steel step corner. I thought that was brutal as hell. But it's like, now you take it to a whole nother level. Now he's going to try to rip out your eye. And that's the objective for you guys to rip out each other's eyes like real eyeballs i'm like i don't even think that doesn't even make any sense like you can't put that on television that doesn't make sense like granted it's on the wwe network but that's it doesn't make sense i'm confused someone has said on twitter that they don't want head uh like chair shots to the head they don't want wrestlers doing that. They take concussions very seriously now. But no, we'll sanction a match where you got to take out the opponent's eye. What could possibly go wrong? Like, that doesn't... No, that idea of the match was cringy. The only thing I wanted to see is how they were really going to do this. Like, are they really about to do some... some like, what, what hokiness, what cringiness were they going to do? If you've seen the thumbnail of this video you seen the cringiness and it sucks because the match by itself was pretty entertaining 
you know of course they were trying to tell the story of each person doing whatever they can to injure the other person to get to their eye and that's cool whatevs but when it came to the end of the match bro and this this is where things just go off the rail for me Seth Rollins gets the advantage he pretty much does the same thing he did to him uh did, does the same thing to Rey Mysterio did weeks ago he mashes his eye against the steps and then Ray yells in agonizing pain and like I said if you've seen in the thumbnail they have this god awful fake eyeball with like it's painted red at the end like that's supposed to imply that his eye came out and i'm just like oh my <sighs> it looked so bad it it looked so bad and then you have seth rollins throwing up because he actually quote unquote saw ray mysterio's eye pop out and i'm like wait a minute Seth that doesn't make sense You know what this match was Why are you throwing up You just did this to him Like you You've been saying for weeks that you're going to make sure He loses his eye And now that he loses his eye Now you gotta sell the throw up Like what the I'm gonna be honest with you Once that match happened I lost all interest in the rest of the pay-per-view but i just did not care dog like yo this was this was this was garbage to me bro i'm just being honest dog it was just it, it, it come on man this is why wrestling isn't it's one of the reasons why people don't take wrestling serious when you have silly matches like this now i get it wrestling has always been just an exaggeration of sorts and even when I look back on the Buried Alive matches and stuff, even though they were entertaining, it's it's kind of hokey now. And I get that. We live in a different time period. I get it. But come on, bro. It looked like it looked so fake and not even in a funny way. Like it was just like, yo, what is what is this, bro? If I show dub this, I, I hope this becomes one of the top 100 moves not top 100 moves but the best moves of july i hope the guy that makes those compilations has that part in there because i i really want to explain to dub what the hell is going on because he doesn't really watch wrestling like that and i'm telling you he's probably gonna be like what the hell is this you it's it's hard to bring new people into wrestling or bring people back into wrestling when you tell them oh ray mysterio is going to be going against seth rollins and extreme rules oh yeah that's awesome i don't know who the new guy is seth rollins but i know who ray mysterio is oh i'm, I'm looking forward to it yeah well what type of match is going to be at extreme rules uh it's going to be an eye for eye match what is that well the opponent has to take out the other opponent's eye all right i'm going home bro and lose my number don't ever talk to me again like come on bro is no it looked fake the whole the only thing that was extreme was seth rollins throwing up that was disgusting i was in the middle of eating i was like what the hell is this outside of that bro it's uh just i don't even know what to say that like i said that kind of ruined my mood for the rest of the, the pay-per-view because i just couldn't believe they used a fake eyeball painted it a little bit red at the bottom of the eyeball and they really was gonna sell this injury and then they googled some stuff afterwards after the match they were doing some uh doing an update on ray they googled some technical stuff basically his optic nerve wasn't severed so he'll be able to see again still he'll still be able to see oh my god I, I really thought Rey Mysterio was gonna lose his eye. Yeah, that that was. Yeah, I don't. Uh, <laughs> I'm speechless at this point. Comment down below if y'all enjoyed Extreme Rules. Me, for the most part, I ain't really too much care for it. I, it was. I expected it to be a letdown, and I I didn't. My expectations was met. It was pretty much a letdown. 
um the only thing i truly enjoyed for the most part was the tag team match um i enjoyed that the tag team table match uh, i actually enjoyed sasha and oscar's match a little bit it was just the ending the ending of that match really annoyed me because i just i don't like that that just hokey makes no sense this is wrestling and you can only pull this off in wrestling booking like i, I just didn't care for the ending i thought that was i thought it was just a cheap way to get people to somewhat tune in to monday night raw to see what happens and the eye for eye match it was what it was the match itself was good but the ending just it was just so cringe in my opinion and the uh the swamp fight whatever you want to call it it cinematically it looked great but outside of that i didn't really care and it didn't really matter it, it, it none of that really mattered because we're gonna get them actually going in it in a ring probably at SummerSlam. so none of this really mattered this pay-per-view shouldn't have even existed and let's not even get started on Dolph Ziggler having everything in his advantage, having the rules in his favor. He could literally use whatever he wanted to to beat Drew McIntyre and still lost the match. Dolph Ziggler's a loser. Everyone knew he was going to lose that match. There was no point of him even feuding with Dolph because it was a waste of time. This pay-per-view is the epitome of a horror show. But not a good horror show. A bad one. It's not one of those good horror movies. It's one of the bad ones that you like, yo, I spent $10 going to the movies for this. This was a waste of my time. This pay-per-view was a waste of my time. Comment down below if y'all enjoyed it. I didn't. That's all I got, bro. That, uh, I appreciate y'all kicking it with me. Roll to 20K. I'm Jesus, bro. This is why I haven't been watching WWE as much. I just haven't been watching the product as much because of cringe pay-per-views and garbage like this. Appreciate you guys. I'm out, man. <laughs>